The following is rated S for spoilers. From the studio that gave us the Batman games that dive kick their way into everyone's hearts and an IP that's good, you know, 50% of the time. Normals is setting on the dryer. Snarl's not gonna wash the taste of that stinker out. Comes a game that's 50% of the way towards being a good time, but ultimately winds up being a little less gun and a lot more airs. Yep, just walking over some cool shit in the background works every time. Suicide Squad, kill the Justice League. Witness the house fire that is Suicide Squad's tumultuous launch. After development problems, multiple delays, and a pretty lukewarm reception, creating one of the biggest L's for Rocksteady to date, and another shining example of what happens when developers go out of their usual wheelhouse and make live service games just to please their shareholder masters. I just hope that another game that got delayed forever doesn't make mistakes like this one. Oops. Or should I say, R? It's almost like they've learned nothing. Take to the skies with the most ragtag, useless team of heroes Amanda Waller could scrape out of Arkham's basement. Except for King Shark, he's a gem. As Metropolis is ravaged by an alien invader, and the Justice League, despite having a fast man that can bend time, the world's greatest detective, a guy that can literally make anything with light, and an all-powerful demigod, gets brainwashed to do some good old-fashioned world domineering. And the last hope of taking down an interplanetary nerd with a hard-on for conquest is this bundle of idiots, where you'll shoot, shoot, and shoot some more at superheroes that have a track record of that not really working well against them. But somehow, through the power of really toxic friendship, they'll assassinate all the heroes you like. Ugh, even if it is a Suicide Squad game, Batman getting taken out like that feels disrespectful to his parents. Come on, champ, let's go watch our parents die. It's what we deserve. In a story that definitely has an interesting premise, but is absolute nonsense if you put down the controller long enough to actually think about it. Assuming you even get that far. Hey, I wonder why I never put two and two together. Oh, kill combo! <laughs> that alien exploded. Shoot your way through the only actual redeeming features of this game, the gunplay that mixes wild traversal with smooth third-person mechanics, as each character has a different playstyle to mix things up, and they throw enough enemies at you from all over to make sure you're always on your toes, that will make you feel like you won't ever get tired of it, until you do. As skill progression feels mediocre, guns start to feel same-ish, and they make you do the same three types of modes over and over again, that feels like they definitely had a real winning formula if they didn't put it into the most boring arena ever. I'm sure this will be a lot more fun with other people. Let's see. Huh. So this is what it feels like to be Aquaman. Why didn't you invite me? Oh, to tell the fish to get out of the way? No, they figured it out. <laughs> Explore the ruins of this once great monument to human ingenuity. I mean Metropolis, not this franchise. As you use your bombastic traversal to do a bunch of menial labor, where you'll take out contracts, and side quests, all in hopes of getting the better color guns, until you've finally done the plot stuff to actually kill a Justice League, which would have been fine if literally any of that didn't just end up with you shooting more of the same aliens in the same faces in the same exact way. They're just lucky that video games have basically turned getting loot into a gambling addiction, otherwise I wouldn't be doing any of this. So get ready to mindlessly farm guns and try to have a little fun in a game that had all the bells and whistles to be great, but was probably a decade too late to catch the fad for any future content to come to fruition, that you'll probably enjoy for a little while, until you realize that like all DC franchises, it might need a James Gunn-style intervention. Ah, the circle of life. Starring Kangaroo Jackass, Deep Seated Family, Issue Shark, doot 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 doot, doot Dead in the Water Shot, Marno Robbie, Very Mad TV, Nord VPN. So I just started blasting. Chlorophyll poisoning Tiny Tina. Definitely kisses his anime body pillow. Pre ejaculation man. The Bat from Fern Gully. 
EDM light show. Straight up Omni Man. Wonder Woman just barely holding it together. Twink Apocalypse. And pre hair plugs Elon Musk. Suicide Squad. Kill the Franchise League. You know, the only realistic thing about the Suicide Squad is that the Riddler would absolutely put up a bunch of puzzles and trophies during a little apocalypse. Look, I can deal with poison gas and gang violence, but what I won't stand for is having to run around another game to do a bunch of zero-budget escape rooms. Comment below on what you want to hear in my epic voice and check out these other epic gaming videos on GameSpot. Pegging isn't new for me, friendo, but it is for Disney. For those interested in learning about time travel, our next meeting is last Thursday. No, you can't has cheeseburger, so stop asking. It's a stupid meme anyway. Sometimes I feel like I'm an NPC in my own life. Jet skis should be called motorcycles. <laughs>